Mushrooms are a versatile ingredient that can work in almost any dish, but why limit them to the kitchen? Why not use them out here? That outdoor furniture is made from fungus. Yeah, I think it's awesome. The curious concept comes from a husband and wife design team. Using sort of organic material that will return to the earth in a really natural way is important just for our practice. Fungus is fast growing, it's reasonably resilient, and it, uh, it doesn't need uh, very many energy inputs to, to grow. The duo made the benches by first allowing mushroom roots or mycelium to grow in sawdust. After that, the mixture was packed into molds and left for five days. It's about the same or a little bit stronger than most polystyrene foams. While furniture is the focus here, the mushroom-based material is also being used to produce home insulation, fiberboard and packaging products. A growing number of people around the world are working with mycelium. Their goal is to find a durable, biodegradable, multi-purpose material. You can make so many types of things out of this material. Philip Ross heads a San Francisco company dedicated to making things out of mushrooms. He wants his products to replace non-organic materials like styrofoam and plastic. Anybody who's concerned about the chemicals or of the toxic effect of longer lasting plastics, they should absolutely be thinking about these types of things. Mushrooms are far from mainstream in the manufacturing world, but several companies like IKEA are now exploring their uses. As for those mushroom benches, they were left untreated and will eventually decompose. A true reflection of what it means to reduce, reuse and recycle. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.